All right, lurkers and everybody chilling, and we are about to start the viewing process here of Super Nanny. This episode is called Divorced Parents Can't Take Control. I think there sh that should probably say of their violent kid, but can't control. Oh, no, it's can't control their violent kid, the Newton family. So these this is the family that invented the Fig Newton, which is pretty cool. And I don't really like them, to be honest. Did you finish Dance Moms? No shot. I am... We are very long way away. We are on episode, what are we on, chat? Episode maybe 11 of Dance Moms. We're on episode, I think, 17 of Kitchen Nightmares. And I think we've probably watched 25 to 30 catfish compilations, which are basically like full episodes in a sense because they're usually 25, 30 minutes. So we got, we're, we're getting there. We're, we've been watching a lot of stuff, though. It's been very fun. And then once we finish Kitchen Nightmares... Eventually, whenever the hell that is, we'll go to Hell's Kitchen. And that quite literally may be in a year. Okay, well, let's take a look and see what family we've got here. Hi, my name is Vicki Newton. I'm 43 years old. Let's go, and Vicky. I have two sons. Damn! Aaron, who's 12, and Kobe, who is 5. Kobe! My name is Aaron Newton. I'm 54 years old. Vicky and I are currently separated. We've been separated for a little over a year. <laughs> I have primary custody of the boys. Oh, the fire's so bad at me! No, in the house. No. In the house! Yeah. And they spend every other weekend with their father. When my children are with me, they're good kids. The boys are like night and day when they're with me and then with, with their dad. Uh oh, okay. Kobe is the... Are you able to post catfish vods? I, there's supposed to be a catfish video coming out at any time. I uploaded it on... Tuesday or Monday it's still waiting to get approved I uploaded the thumbnail and everything today so hopefully within the next 24 hours angel devil child God did what stop it okay hold on they can't just sneak that in what the hell did he just angel do devil child he just break the window bro hello this kid just broke his win the window in the house what the f Dude, that's crazy. Absolutely not. I'm just thinking of what would have happened to me if I did it as a kid. I would never be able to throw anything again. My parents would have just been like, no, nope, you have lost the ability to throw in your entire life. That is absolutely crazy. Stop it! He can turn on you Ow! and hit, kick and scream. Oh, bitch. Stupid bitch. Stupid ass bitch, bro. He was slamming that damn door. Stop Unfair it. because this is what I hear, right? I'm I'm on watching this. I hear boom, damn, slamming the door. He can turn on you. Whatever. I mean, I'm 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 interested in this. Why the hell he broke a window? Okay. Broken. It gets me actually every time. It's turned into a real problem in my life. It's just true. Ow! And hit, kick, and scream. Damn. Absolutely have meltdowns. Damn. This little boy's so angry. Aaron. Vic That's a funny sound alert. This little boy so angry. <laughs> little Aaron. I put it to Will if he gets mad at Fortnite. He wants to be a big mature man. Oh, you keep that in our house. But Kobe pushes every button that Aaron has. What now, Aaron? Get on the ground. I stepped in it. I peed on the ground so he could step in it. He peed on the ground so his brother could step in it. Is this kid a villain? He is a menace. He's not peeing in the toilet, so he, what? Take your ass downstairs. I'm a very strict person. All right, Ash. I already got embarrassed once. Aaron, uh, you are definitely cleaning this place up today. And my children. His dad has strict the person. absolute Aaron, uh, dad fit. What's up, Bamboozla? How you doing? This is the absolute dad fit. There is no better dad fit. He's got on the dad shoes. I don't even think they have a brand. Maybe they're Cads. He's got on the Sears jeans. You are definitely cleaning this place and up. And the oversized dad sweater, Today, which is kind of fire. My children understand that. You know, I can't hang with this. It looks like an old eagle sweater. I want you to sweater. eat. I don't want you to eat now. I feel like such a horrible mom because they're just, they just won't, won't listen. When I cook food, then you eat it. Okay, he does not respect the mom. Stop. Stop. Damn. So different in one house to the other. you. Hey! Oh, damn. I don't think I need super nanny so but I think Vicky does tremendously. <laughs> I feel like Wow the dad the the dad saying it ain't me, I ain't the problem. He just threw Vicky under the bus. 
He's like, I don't even need her help. It's Vicky's ass. Well, you know what? He's probably right a little bit because it's looking like Vicky don't know what the hell's going on. No offense to her. She got the um achy breaky heart uh Billy Ray Cyrus look going on though. I can't win. So please, if you can do it, I'll be forever grateful. I've seen enough. I'm on my way. You guys desperately need my help and I'm on my way now. Yes. It's time. The Vicky disrespect. I'm disrespecting Vicky as well, I think. I think she might be the problem immediately. I love Dick. That's fucked up. Who did that? Jada? Really? Jada? What the hell? I didn't expect to see your name there. We have new viewers today. Hello. Hi. Pleased to meet you. I'm Jo. Hi, I'm Vicky. May I come in? Oh, please do. Okay. This is Jo. Hi, Kobe. Please. <sighs> Hi, Kobe. He's like, yeah. About to ruin your life. Pleased to meet you. Shake Jojo's hand. How are you? Good. After I was introduced to Kobe, we went outside to the backyard where we played some basketball, but it wasn't five minutes before Kobe started trouble. Uh-oh. Mm. Knock it off. Mm. You better stop threatening. Mom's kind of dressing like Michael Jordan, to be honest. Don't throw it at me. I'll t <laughs> Don't you throw it at me. Damn. Why are you doing that? Oh, he's full on this chucking that thing at no her head. For Vicky. He doesn't listen to anything she has to say. He, stood up he doesn't take does not her like seriously. Her. Just total non respect. Okay, well, that's got to change. For you can't be throwing Aaron. all your mom's head like that. Hi, Aaron. How are you? <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I'm Jojo. Aaron looks very nice. Mm -hmm. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Jojo. When Aaron came home from school, I introduced myself to him, and he was very pleasant. And Mum asked if he would go outside and play with Kobe. No, I'm not playing with Kobe. Ever? I didn't say ever. I said right now. Well, I didn't say right this second. I said, get your homework done. Okay. What if I don't want to play with my homework done? Aaron, why don't we take one step at a time? How about that? Uh -oh. It was like watching two teenagers bickering back and forth. Good when joke Aaron talks today back in the chat, me, huh? It's, I've become so. We got about 10 first time chatters today. We got to make we got to make me look as silly as possible. That was Vicky that did that. Look at Vicky's face. Listen to it. Accustomed to it. And I kind of blow it off as to his age. Do your homework. Okay. Where's Kobe at? I don't know. It turns out that Kobe was upstairs on the computer. Kobe, you're not even supposed to be touching the computer. I'm ignoring you. What is it you're doing that I told you not to? Let's go. No. Kobe, hey, Damn. hey. Do not slam the keyboard. Down. It's like GC when he gets killed in a squad. Don't. Did, did he just smack her in the face, bro? Play on the keyboard. Down. Oh. Damn, bro. That's assault. Bro, he smacked her right in the face, bro. He better not do that to Joe Frost. We're gonna have problems, Kobe. Don't hit me. Now stop, Kobe. Damn. Stop it. Don't start kicking. Oh. This is not. Come on. Look, now even even freaking Joe th smells like shit. Look at now she smells something. Damn it. Now Joe's even doing it. That's bullshit. Now you turn my own future wife against me. That's this is the shit that happens to me. I can't even get a show. Ow! Did it the same time as my fart. Sorry, Joe. smell o vision must have been invented or something. Oh my god, where'd it go? Uh, Stop it! It really does look like she smelled shit. He <laughs> I'm sorry, Joe. I don't know what else to do. He just went into a rage. Damn. It was like a volcano that had erupted. Uh, sit! <laughs> Damn. Oh. Oh, this kid is... <laughs> He's like actually beating his mom. He's actually like beating her up. He's actually like beating her up. This has spiraled out of control. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah, outrageous. Yeah. Stop I mean, he's like wrestling no, her like it. in a movie. First, I thought they were kidding, but. When I get angry, I hit my mom. Bro, whoa, what is this little kid? When I get angry, I hit my mom. Bro, you're all five years old. What the hell is going on with this little weasel? 
Crazy, man. Crazy disrespect. Is it Colby or Kobe? I don't know which one. Sam and Colby. Any old thing is in throw things. You what throw things. I'm trying. See, I'm trying to make him at least calm down and stay in his room. I try to get him to calm down. And a lot of times I it just. She does it. Oh, shit! What did you just throw? That is not acceptable, Kobe. Damn, he opened the door and went right at it. Look at that. Sometimes it just takes. Bam! He threw that within 0.1 second. Door open, boom. Sneak attack. Look at that. Damn! Sounds like he threw a shoe or something. What? Yeah, he said, I heard you were talking shit. Come on, man. What did you just throw? That is not acceptable, Kobe. She's like, I'm trying to calm him down, but the way that she reacts to is just as bad. Stop it! To be a spectator and watch that for me was just the most Damn. difficult thing that I've probably ever had to do. I was just so torn. Bro, <laughs> chat, why is this app? Why is he legit beating her up? I don't know what to I don't know what to do besides laugh at it. He just like Trin, how are you? Like that last clip that I have paused on, I believe he just punched her in the face. I like what is going on? It's just the weirdest episode. <laughs> oh, I didn't expect this, man. He's actually like, what do you do in the situation? Hello, baby. The most difficult on, just thing that I've probably ever had to do. I was just so <laughs> it's ridiculous. What do you do? Should you call the police? Let's see what they think. I'm going to shut the door real quick. All right. The dogs are doing good. We do. I know, Julia, we do at this point. I, I, we gotta get on it. So torn professionally with watching and observing or compassionately just stepping in. You just heard it. Bro, did she hear actually just get punched in the eye? He was not letting What's go up, of me. Barbara? It broke me down. I have not had any resolve to this. I don't know what to do. So you're We don't have heat ex. in our house That's either, uh, Janie, on. oddly enough. He knows that they do it. <laughs> he tells him not to. He usually coming down by now. Things got so bad that at one Bro. stage, the mum screamed out. Aaron, please help me. He won't stop. And Aaron what came upstairs and he got between his mother and his brother. Bro. <laughs> This is crazy, chat. He is on a legit rampage. They don't know how to stop him. What's up, Haley? They don't know how to stop him. The brother had to put him in a headlock. <laughs> it's like he makes the she makes the older brother just beat him up, basically. What happens? Your brother tries to defend me, and then you get hurt because you refuse to just stop, Aaron. Just go, just go. Oh my God, this is wild. No, no. He's straight up like trying to kick her in the head. <laughs> You are kidding me. Aaron defends mum by fighting with him to the point where he can then physically hurt Kobe. That's crazy. And then the person that Kobe's been beaten up on pacifies him because he's been hurt. What a destructive cycle that is happening here. This is just. Right hours. now he's crying. I'd be like, what are you crying about now? My God. Kitty Cat, thank you for the three months. Love you, Ryan, and all of your content. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. All right now they're at Pop's oh, yeah. house. Or Hello. No, Pop's Hi, is over. Nice to meet you. How are you? I'm Joe. Very well. Aaron Newton. And yourself? You? Dad came from work to pick up the I'm a Blues fan. I actually am a Flyers fan, but uh, Janie got me this jersey, and uh, it's nice as hell. And uh, I have some friends from St. Louis, but I'm actually, I root for the Flyers. But we just suck ass cheeks. And I met him, and he was very polite and said hello. And he greeted the boys. How you doing, Button? You okay? You're going to Daddy's for a while. And oh, it now was he's just calm, a huh? Different energy. That little devil is Call calm. Me. 
Do you want to tell Daddy about what happened earlier? I was kicking money. Would you talk to him about that when you're over there, please? Because this is not uncommon. This is what he does. He gets mad and he loses control. Aaron, finally I said, Aaron, please help me. You are hitting me. I was not hit. Stop, Kobe. You pushed me down. Stop it. Right uh -oh. now. Is this a conversation that you is- You tell the dad's the enforcer. Lolly's muse. Almost a year. Let's go. Thank you for the 11 months. Appreciate all the resubs, everybody. Thank you. You know what are, what are we at? We're over the sub goal. Let's see. Thousand six. Let's go. Repetitive listening yeah, the to the kids explain to you how yes. Kobe's behaved. Yes. Yes, it is. It kind of reminds me of Walter White. Together. He has serious sit down conversations with them when he's alone yeah. with them. Is that, is that, that's the case? Yeah. But it's after the fact. And I don't know if it has that much uh, significance, especially to Kobe. I just don't see that type of behavior that Vicky has told me that they have done in front of her. Oh, well, he better watch the tapes. I would have said, show the tapes now, roll it, damn it. Um, why? I honestly don't know. Vicky and Aaron so, aren't Coco. seeing eye to eye. They share custody of the boys, but they're not working. Anybody I haven't said hello to yet, you know, I like to address you, say something in the chat. Together. And Together. I see that. Okay, guys. See you later. Give me kisses. And now he's all lovey dovey. You just smack your mom in the face like a tennis racket. Now that I spent the whole day at mom's, I wanted to see if the children really do behave differently at dad's. I need my bag here. This is cool. Oh, okay. This is a cool dynamic, though. I kind of like this. What's up, Catherine? Great to see you. Brooklyn, hello, hello. As soon as I arrived, dad was making dinner for the boys. Trap house, oh, good to see boy. you. Ashley, hello. Does he run a Tortellini, tight ship. sweet potato, Aaron, this great to really see you. Really cheesy, okay? AT. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's wrong? What's wrong? Damn. Whoa, damn. What made you go over there? That was, whoa, 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 all because he said yeah? Oh, man, that's a little too tight of a ship. Hold on. Okay. Let me see what he did wrong here. What's up, JC's Bambi? AT. Alicia, thank you so much on the grats for 5K. I appreciate you. Yeah. Okay, so he said it, uh, yeah, in like a little bit of a condescending, but like, whoa. That's what camera's here. Oh, boy, man. What's wrong? What's wrong? What made you go over? Well, a little bit too much there, Dad. Jesus. I didn't like his response. I'm a very strict parent. You know, he's a kid. Uh, with my... The smiling stuff is scary. I'm getting scared now. I don't like either side of this family. I'm a little scared. Yeah, mom's not strict enough. Dad's too strict. Can we meet in the middle? My children. Uh, I'm regimented. <laughs> Don't even start. Say excuse me. Yeah, a little military for sure here. Kobe, yeah. sit up right in the chair today, please. Aaron, you know you don't talk with food in your mouth. Dad's presence overall is very strict. As far he's really as playing the drill sergeant music in the background. General. You know he's he's upright. Dad usually when he tells me stuff, it's serious. It's not like an option. Right, so your dad tells you, but your mom gives you. It option. seems like my mom's giving me options, and my dad's giving it more seriously. You're a very astute boy and a very smart one. What? Oh, oh my God! I thought she called her him a stupid boy. Oh my God! I was like, bro, you can't say something like that to him. I thought she just was like, you are a very stupid boy. Yeah. You're a very astute boy. God damn, that scared the hell out of me for a second. I was like, there's no way she would do that to little Aaron. You are very astute. See, of course, that's a great word. Yeah, she's not Abby. Yeah, we're watching too much Dance Moms thinking that Abby Lee Miller's in here. Like, You're stupid! Very smart one. She said Thank astute. Thank you for me to your home. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you. However, what I would like is for you to make your way over to Vicky's. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Because I would love to sit down with a pair of you and have He's a chat. like, damn, I don't okay. want to do that. Lovely. So look forward right. to seeing you there. So thank you very much. Bye. Bye. Very quiet in the house. A little scary in that house, though. These parents' heads are seriously messed up. And it's reflecting in some of the bad behavior that we're seeing from these children. I need to sit down with Vicky and Aaron and discuss this situation as soon as possible. I called for the pair of you to meet me this evening because the severity of what I've seen in observation couldn't wait for tomorrow. I'll tell you, they, they look the complete opposite of each other in every aspect of life. Vicky, uh, 
and and what's his name? I forget his damn name already. They just look so different. Like there's there's just every aspect about them is different. Libra Lily, how you doing? Is she wearing bling? I as I guess has a very long necklace. I would agree. I agree, Bones. The aggression in I'm this crack house my neck. is absolutely horrifying. Oh, I agree. I, I absolutely agree. And yet you tolerate that, Vicky. You put up with the children hitting you. I've got to ask you why, Vicky. Why do you allow your children to physically treat you that way? I guess I don't. That's I don't know what else to do at that point. I don't know how else to get him to stop. What are the children's consequences for this behavior? Where is the discipline? You'd have to talk to Vicky about that because it, I can't discipline my children for something that they don't do at my house. Now, Aaron, oh boy. you have been told time and time again by Vicky. I think that's a bad take by him though. Cause it's like, okay, if she's telling you that it's happening and you're just saying, well, it's not happening in my house. It's like, well, Still their dad, I would still say like, yeah, why don't you help out a little bit then, right? But they, you could tell that Aaron does not want to help Vicky in any way. Like you could tell it's, they don't like each other. It's pretty obvious. I mean, this is on the cameras, but yeah, a very cop out for sure. Very, very. Lizeth, goddamn. Was that with the freaking ten gifted? Let's go. Who's getting the hookup? Let's see. Let's find out. It is Sarah, Princess, Maggie, Spencer, Asha, Stella, Crawfy, Cipher, Simachi, and Julie San Nicole. Thank you so much. Let's go. Huge, huge party horn for Lizeth here. Who has just been insane. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, Lizeth. Hope you're having a great Wednesday afternoon. Or wherever you are. Maybe it's yeah, Wednesday night. Donkey. No. I did nothing wrong. Okay, I see if I messed up on something, I get it. But I did nothing wrong to be called a donkey from Gordon today. Okay. We just got 10 gifted subs from Lizeth. That was very insanely sweet of her. Look at what you guys have done nice. now to to, Lizeth, uh, to Vicky. Look how uncomfortable she looks. Look how uncomfortable. Good Lord. Uh, Lizeth. Nice. With another 10 gifted. I feel like everything is behind now. Oh, my God. N Natty B. Kicks, Cell, Jammy, Caitlin. Nice. Tatiana, Emery, Boneless Pancakes, Raya, and Jocelyn. Now all getting gifted subs. That is 20 gifted subs from Lizeth. Lizeth, thank you. We will cheer again for you. Thank you so much. We have a, just absolutely destroyed the sub goal again. Thank you, Lizeth. I appreciate you very much. I appreciate you 93 times, huh? You like what I did there? Thank you very much. All the gift is today. Janie, Brianna, Vicky, Creative Croft. Appreciate you guys very, very much. And it brings up Bald Kian, exactly. So that's always fun. Sometimes you get to see you get to see some good stuff. I appreciate you, Lizeth. Seriously, thank you so much. Appreciate you. All right. Let's see what's going on here with Vicky. About the abuse. When did mom's word becoming valid 20 gift a damn dude what's that i'm more of a person nice. that deals with the situation at hand when it happens but it's not good enough aaron i understand it's not good enough because you're not supporting vicky in raising your children properly i'm understanding what she's telling us are you uh oh i'm acknowledging it they hate okay. each other so much but you don't necessarily agree i can say by the i haven't said anything i'm listening Look at Aaron, a bright a boy show, who sees everything. Wow. He shouldn't have to step up it's and a be a father to Kobe well. and deal broke with the sound alerts today or the... Boy should be worrying about who's going to be playing basketball with him. It's and this is what it's about at the end of the well. day. It's about your boys. I think it was necessary for him to hear that. 
so that we can move forward as far as the kids are concerned. Are you guys willing to work together to change around the destructive behavior that we are seeing? I am. Ah, oh, just you could tell they're just not. They both. I am. I mean, I guess if she is, I feel like he's going to say something like that. Okay. Yes. Well, yeah, he is so mad. I hope Vicky will really. This is rough. This is a rough scenario for the kids. I'm not going to lie. This is a, no wonder they're. What Joe has to say. Know, a little out there. To heart. With their anger. And think of what Joe was trying to do to help us together. I am very happy to see that the pair of you. We got in the background there. We got. I'm going to go with maybe tomatoes and pears. Are we looking at tomatoes and pears? I'm struggling there. I'm, I'm, I would assume that those are pears and that might be a tomato in the middle and maybe some sort of like, maybe like a grapefruit or some shit. I don't know. They're willing to be able to communicate with one another to be able to change this around. Looks fake. That's real, okay. I think. Good night. Good night. That's fake. Potatoes? That's fake? What do we think, Jack? Fake or real? What is going on here? It just doesn't look like a fake fruit bowl, though. It, fake? That's crazy to me. Wow. This middle thing looks like a, a, a wrinkly tomato. Too glossy. That's a good point. Maybe it is pretty glossy. Oh, you're right. That is pretty glossy. Wow. Those pears aren't real. Wow. Why? Once again, then, what's with the fake fruit? I was trying to praise them. What's the point of it? If you go into a kitchen and you see the fruit and you crave it and it's fake. It's like if you had a fake TV and you're like, I want to watch TV. Well, it's fake. So don't even put it in your, your living room. Pisses me off. Fake plants. Look at this. Fake plant. You're right, guys. Fake plant. Fake plant. Fake fruit. Disgusted. Think of what Joe was trying to do to help us together. I am very happy. Bro, Lizette. Oh my God. I got to play the freaking party song. It'd be a little thick. Um, we got Jesus, Janie, and what the F was that? Thank you so much, um, for another 10 gifted. That's 30 in like five minutes. That's absurd. Um, Camila, look at all the, look at the chat going crazy with the emotes. Uh, Camila, Sage, Rachel, Jocelyn, Athena, Amy, Jessica, Charlie with a bunch of A's, Whitney, and Ariana now with the gifted sub. So a lot of people in chat got the gifted subs. If you did, please say thank you. Um, and, uh, use your emotes, dance, have a good time. We don't take ourselves very seriously in this stream on purpose. So don't worry. You will not be judged. Um, yeah, we just goof off. That's why we have a giant ass working Pikachu emote. You know what? It is what it is. We love our giant ass Pikachu throwing it back. I appreciate you. Thank you for all the love today, guys. That's, I had a guess. That's like almost 50 total subs today. That's a lot. See, what am I doing? The you there you go. You broke me. To be able to communicate. Is that with dropping one bombs, to be able to change bro? This around. Look at all the look at all the twerking Pikachu's. Okay. Good night. It's so funny seeing now. I unpause it at a serious moment with divorced parents, and now we look over at the chat, and it's just it's just Pokemon throwing ass. I feel like I annoy you when I say hi. Already, no, I I love people. I love I when everyone says hi. I do. That's why I make sure to say hi to everybody. Start working together. What I'd like to do is to present you with some footage, Aaron. Dad has repetitively said that he doesn't. Finally, we're getting a moment where Aaron sees the footage of this. This is exciting. He also has the the Jeffrey Dahmer's. I ain't gonna lie to you. He's got the. He's. That looks like something Jake Weber would buy and analyze on his YouTube channel. That Aaron sees what Vicky has to put up with. Don't start kicking. Oh damn! Stop it! Okay, Aaron, what you got to say about it? I wanted him to see what Kobe was capable of. He had not seen Kobe to that extreme. So I think it was good for him to see it, even though it's embarrassing to see Hold on, I got to get closer extreme. to the dad's knee. So I think it was good. Yeah, those are the Keds right there. Those are the, those are like the JCPenney's, Boscov's, um, Sears.
you know, twenty nine ninety nine. Just real good grip on them, you know. No style, but they're grippy. Good for him to see it, even though it's embarrassing to see your child act like that. When I saw the DVD with Kobe, I was very disappointed in what I saw. Damn, he really never yeah. had seen this happen before. Stop hitting me! Now, stop it! You don't want to hear my response to that. Uh-oh, uh-oh, he's very upset. I it quite frankly should have been nipped in the bud an awful long time ago. Is that Kobe's fault? No, it isn't. Kobe's five years old. I'm, I'm kind of angry about this, to tell the truth. Aaron was extremely angry, but this is not the first time he's heard about Kobe's oh, behavior. Shit. He's obviously done nothing productive to stop this. If Kobe's not to blame, he and about, be he about to blame Vicky. For his own behavior and aggression, who is? The parents are. What Knew Aaron it. doesn't understand is this. Even though he doesn't live in this house anymore, he is equally right. He's still the father for his children's bad behavior. I don't like this whole mindset of like, oh, when I'm not around them, I don't care. It is what it's like. It's still you're st what? That's not all the 50 50 thing. Go like, you know, that's just a petty custody thing, unfortunately. By allowing Aaron to come in and see with his own eyes, Kobe's behavior Feel you, Julia. is the first step towards you both taking responsibility for your children. It's very yeah, of course it's her fault. Of course she's going to grasp matter. the severity in that type of action from your own child. So I'm still working with what to do about that. Oh, now that Aaron realizes he needs to be more involved in disciplining the children, I'm setting Vicky and him up with an exercise. Common ground technique. Here the goal go. of the common the ground boards. technique is to allow mum and dad to write down so their goals not. for the boys. Okay, so on this. Here, write down some of the goals you would like to see achieved. Let's try. Happy music, cool music, parents being cool. Okay, why don't we start with you? Refrain from name calling. Yep. Use our words and not physical contact to express ourselves. Mm -hmm. Would you be in agreement with that? I mean, I'm just- I, I would definitely be in agreement with it. Aaron, let's hear one of yours. I wrote down communication. I'm gonna be honest. I'm, Not only I'm with scared Vicky, of this dad. But with my... I think the way that he speaks real calm like that is kind of scary. Because it scares me. Because it's like, that means this man yells a lot. Some You know, when he's not so damn calm. I feel like I've had a couple of my friends whose dads are like that. They'd be like, hey, Ryan, great to see you. How are you? And then they're, they're you know, my friends would be like, bro, when you guys leave, he's crazy. I was like, oh, shit. Children. And I put down open. Honest and direct. I think that, that, well, uh, that works. Oh, I, I, I agree. It went very well. The pair of them were very amicable. They listened to one another. They were in unison of where they wanted to reach with the boys, so that was very good. Starting afresh. My feeling is Vicky and I have reached a starting point, trying to work together to resolve some serious issues. There is no discipline that is effective in this house and so i'm introducing the Man, this is a this is a real dynamic board, board here so that mum can get control back in this house kobe this might be her biggest board yet i saw behavior from you yesterday that was very upsetting behavior like aggression which is punching and kicking and any kind of behavior that hurts somebody else is wrong you're gonna learn that if you don't start behaving yourself, right that you're it. gonna pay a price for it. Basketball. Uh-oh. If you start to fight, no more basketball. Uh -oh. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> his eyes. He's like, what did she just say? No. Can't do this to me. All his life. When I hit and cuss and swear and all the things that I'm not supposed to do. Mommy and Daddy have <laughs> God, had a little enough menace. of your behavior. Perhaps it's my responsibility to assist Vicky to work on that chart. Perhaps it is, because you are the father, Aaron. And reach a common ground. And how you Perhaps. treat Daddy and speak to Daddy is how you will treat Mommy. With respect and lots of love. And I will mommy kick Mommy in the face. Needs to step up now and no, she's going you can't, to, isn't Kobe. she? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll beat mommy's ass. No, in the Kobe. afternoon, the boys were playing basketball together, but before you knew it, 
trouble started. Oh, boy. What's wrong, Eric? Perhaps. Why? Because he Come. keeps on crying and whining because the way I I'm I feel sure bad for Aaron. I feel like he probably is hella annoyed. When she gets drawn in by Kobe's anger when she deals with him. So before she went out to talk to him, I wanted to give her some tools so that she could remain calm. Oh my, what, what did he just do? Him, I to give this kid is a thrower. So that she could remain calm. He fall, throw a full shoe out the door. You don't want to get angry because he's showing anger. All right, what you Bro, want him to do is get to a place where he basketball? can calm down. I would lose it. calm down, you can then say to him, talk to mommy so I can help you resolve the situation. Okay? Okay. You could tell Vicky's scared. She's like, I don't want to go out there. If he hits Dude, he's you, throwing everything. Cookie. He's throwing, rocks. Kobe's he's throwing everything on the ground. I think anything he could find, he's if he saw a little frog, he'd throw it. Behavior was getting worse by the minute. And action did have to be taken. Damn. 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 Kobe has a lot of How many shoes is out there? And feeding into it just makes it worse. Kobe, I asked you, no, come here. Oh, here he goes. Kobe. Kobe. I thought it would be very No, no, no. He better not hit Miss Joe. Very beneficial to help him calm down with a breathing technique. Breathe through your nose. <coughs> Repeat what I say. Breathe through your nose, honey. Show him. Show him. Breathe in. Look at mommy. I feel bad. He has genuine anger issues. Like this is a genuine because the crying afterwards, it almost shows like he's having a panic attack after. Come mommy. Good boy. It was working. Kobe started to settle down. You know what, Kobe? Instead of getting angry and throwing things, just come and say, Mommy, I'm sad. This is why I'm sad. And talk to me. Because you know what? Throwing things isn't getting us anywhere. These are sad, though, because it's like, man, where's this been for four and a half, five years? Like, no one's ever said, his mom's never said, like, just talk to me when you're sad. Like, never before, ever. That's is it? a bummer. No. And you're going to have to lose a privilege now. Kobe ended up losing a privilege, and it's the first time that Mum has ever been adamant about following through with a consequence and sticking with it. First time but ever. But when he realised what was happening, he went on a massive rampage. Oh no. No. Uh oh. Sometimes you lose privilege. Oh my God! He did not just throw the board. No. <laughs> <laughs> he did not just throw the board. I'd be pissed. Sometimes you lose. Look at him. Look at them in there in the kitchen. He just I'm throws right. it at them. What is wrong with this kid? The whole board. He is fearless, man. He said, nah. Nah, this ain't, this ain't flying, so it's literally flying. What in the world? It makes me mad sometimes. He just throwing every the plan, dude. He's like a cat. He's like a house cat. Look at him. He's throwing the picture of the wedding dress. He's dropping a house plant like he's a cat. Dropping a house plant about fifteen feet up, by the way. He's like those, uh, you know, like some of those the videos at like a Seven Eleven and a crackhead like goes in and just like throws soda at people. <laughs> You're like, oh, chill out, man. What the fuck? It's like that. <laughs> Bro, I keep forgetting what I'm watching. I keep forgetting that I'm watching a child do like this is insane. I'd be so mad. I'd be so mad. This is why I don't want children. This is part of the reason I can't. I, if I walked into my office like that, I'd be so sad. I'd be like, oh my god, I gotta so much work I gotta do now. You just feel like you're gonna lose it at any time because you just don't know when it's gonna end. And I was trying to keep my I mean, cool. Does, he, not just, does he stop? Can somebody stop him? Get angry. No, you just gonna. Wow. He was destroying anything he could get his hands on. But Mum remained composed so that she didn't feed into his anger. Okay. Breathe. <sighs> and he is going. Oh, show Mama. Wild. Who knows? Come on, baby. I actually thought he was never going to be able to get composure. But when he did it with me the first time, I thought, wow, you know, maybe this can be a way to get him to calm down. Keep going. Probably. Come on, keep going. Good boy. That's it. After the storm had gone, things were in a state throughout the whole house. Oh, my God. He's breaking the clowns. What were those? The storm had gone. Things were in a state. Wow, he broke the clowns, man. That's messed up to the clowns. Although, I'm not going to lie, I don't like clowns. The whole house. 
But the one thing that had come out of it that was positive was that mum had stuck to her guns. And that boundary line that a, was placed a, very that firmly in the house. Attack okay. There. All right. And it was up to Kobe to recognise that it was every left room good. like a tornado. Aaron's a really good kid, but he is often overlooked because his parents. Yeah, he's cleaning. Exactly. He would definitely be cleaning it up. Spend I would be, I would, I'd be like, that's all you. So much time dealing with Kobe. So I gave him a notebook so he can write down his thoughts and Aaron's share it with good his kid. parents when he's ready. He's I don't done. understand clowns. You know what? Neither do I, Selma. Honest to, honest to God. I, I still don't. I've never looked at a clown and felt happier. You know, I've never thought of a clown and just been like, this is super awesome. I just don't know. They don't they don't do it for me. What about mimes? Mimes are funny. I think they're funny as hell. Okay. She said it's for me like to write down questions that, you know, I can ask my parents or how I'm feeling and stuff like that. So I thought it was really nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Dad came over from work to see the boys and I showed him around the house the destruction. Oh my God. I took him straight upstairs oh, it. Good. to the it. computer room. Wow where he saw everything displayed on the floor. What I would like to see, once you've taken the minute to compose yourself with what you've seen, is to be able to sit down with Kobe and make it quite clear. He definitely gets the anger from the dad because the dad is so mad right now, but he's trying to calm down. And like you could tell, he's just like, you could tell where this is stemming from. That his unacceptable behavior has to stop. He has lost his privileges and I'd like them to follow through in suit in your home, okay? Kobe needs to understand that if he misbehaves in his mother's house, the discipline will be followed through in his dad's house as well. You can't play basketball for how many days? Two. Whatever happens here is gonna happen at daddy's apartment, right? Do you understand that? Okay, if you're back talk here, you might as well be back talking daddy. When you talk to him, dad, don't okay. pacify what you're saying. Okay? I know, I know. This is know. you being firm with him. I know, I know, it's hard. What's hard? To be firm? Aaron. I, know, I understand, I understand. Aaron, no, Aaron, I don't think you do. When I picked Kobe up, um, it was a father saying to his son, you're not a bad guy. We're gonna work on this. Put him down for a minute, please. Put him down. Uh, you know, I, I have to be honest. Uh-oh. Okay. He's in front of us. Okay. Kobe, do something for Daddy, okay? Why don't you run upstairs? Because Daddy has to be real now, okay? Oh, here we go. This is good. This is what I want. Dad is I going wild. Him, Why are you behaving this way with Kobe? And He's basically babying the young one and being super rude to the old one is what I'm seeing. And now she's like, nah, you're the one coddling him, not disciplining him because you don't want to be the bad guy. That's what's going on, right? The dad doesn't want to be the bad guy now. And he's mad at Vicky because he feels like he has to clean up for her mistakes. It's still your son. He turned around very abrupt and said, let's get real here. And I thought, let's do it. Let's talk. Yeah, she I am very disappointed. Okay. Okay. The behavior that Colby is showing, he doesn't do it with me. Mm -hmm. I didn't lay this foundation. Vicky did. I knew it. And that is not Kobe's fault. Mm -hmm. Okay? Am I mad? You're damn right I'm mad. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like condemn Kobe because of what an adult has allowed him to do. Okay? I hear what you're going to say. Now I'm going to lay my cards down on the table. Please do. Aaron blames Vicky, but he's got to get beyond that. What's most important he's just, here he's just is deflecting. that Vicky and Aaron put their children's welfare first and put their differences aside. Kobe's anger has also now escalated with the fact that Vicky hasn't stepped up and implemented her own foundation. But she's not had the support from you because of your own personal differences and those children are now having to he deal with those needs to emotions. breathe. Yeah, we need to give him the channel points 2500 thing so he can just take a breather. I think he's about to blow up. He's five years old and he's got a lot of pent up anger. These boys have got to see that their father supports their mother to be able to put these kids I don't think he's on the right blink, track. Breathe, move, there. Because there after go, all, go. isn't that why we're all here? That's the reason. Yeah. Okay. After my Man, talk she, with I'll Aaron, tell you what, she talked him down real quick. She she picked him apart. 
I realised that these two parents have got some serious deep issues to resolve. And no matter what I try- This house seems very 90s, by the way. This seems like- I feel like this episode was maybe 2011 or something, but this feel- or maybe a little earlier, 2008. But this feels like 1999. What I do for them, it's not going to help unless they decide to work together. Now, I was invited into your home to resolve some severe issues. It's old vibe. But I cannot help you guys change that if you guys are not willing to talk to each other and clear the air with your own relationship first so that you can both take responsibility for your children together. I love what I'm going to go away. Together. What's up, Myro? I'd like a, a joint decision on whether you... I thought she was about to say, I'd like a joint. No, I'd like a joint. I'd like to invite me back I'm stressed. to be able to help the pair of you. These guys have got some serious homework to do while I'm away. They've got to be coming up with some resolvement in order for me to be able to come back into this house and help them turn around the dynamics because it's a bad place right now. Okay. It's nice to see the boys playing together. Damn. Uh-oh. There we go. It's in. I'm already playing with you. What's going on? Kobe sucked me in your face. Did you hit it? Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Don't like the pterodactyl scream. Not a big fan of the uh, shrieking dinosaur. Tell you that much right now. If I get on a plane and I hear that, I immediately want to, what's that, perk 100? Can I take a perk 100? I want everything. Give me any sedative if I hear that on a plane. Breathe, breathe. Good job trying to calm him down, Mum. You locked yourself out on him. I've done that before. Stomach. You know what that means? It means no more basketball today. Damn, take that basketball. No! Oh, here he goes. He's about to throw the fan off we the roof. We talked about this. You know the rules. <laughs> you had a warning. Walk away. I'll see you, Christy. Yeah. Just try and give him some breathing room. We're not going to play this anymore today. I love it. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Don't apologize for disciplining him. You're going to have to. No! Damn, oh man. Damn. Well, Here he goes. <laughs> now, she caught it. He just quite literally knocked the light off the wall. Here he goes, chat. Instant replay, a little pterodactyl. Well, That's we great. Calm down. Okay, we need to breathe. Okay? Come on, show me. Hubby, come on, look at mommy. Show me. Mommy needs to do it because mommy's upset too, okay? That was tough. But you stayed pretty calm, and you got Kobe there too. Oh my God, man! I'll tell you what, that's a lot. That's fantastic. Look at Aaron writing in his notebook. Right before I go to bed, I always write stuff in my notebook that Joe gave me. What? I fucking hate Kobe. Aaron would like to talk to us downstairs. That's fine. Fine. I don't want to do it. Just my mom and just my dad. I want to kind of do it when we're all together. This is the book that Joe gave me. So I wanted to um, share at, what I Look had. at Aaron coming up. Clutch, dude. Uh, what I wrote down. I wish Kobe would stop hitting my mom and me because he hurts us and I need Kobe not to hit a curse. Look. Good. It's bringing you guys together. Aaron's stepping I'm up to the plate. I'm proud of my mom and the way she is handling. Look, Aaron's. I love, I love Joe coming in. I'm Kobe. I'm proud of my parents. And I love Sam and Kobe. Working together and trying to control Kobe's I want to meet them at Playlist very, Live. Very good observations, Aaron. Excellent. For me. Can we get rid of Kobe for Sam and Kobe? You know, you know how hard I've been trying not to yell. But if you're saying, Mom, you really tried, then I know that I'm doing a lot better. Do you have any questions about anyone? <laughs> this is great communication like, and openness. Questions? This is a major step He's the parent. Guys. He, I feel like he just parented the parents. That was funny. You got any questions? Give him a hug. Daddy. Oh, this is definitely from that phone alone. Let me say that's probably 2000 and maybe four, five. You want me to make rice? <laughs> I love this. You're working together. I think I can manage that without burning it. Look how happy Kobe is. Just look at that smile. Okay, I'm just for reading now. Kobe a story. You want to say I love rice. Him? I want rice right now. Hold on. Good night, Daddy. Hey, good night, you little bitch ass punk. Are you a good boy today? Yeah. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow. Are you a good boy today? No, you All ripped right, the last. No, you ripped the damn light off the wall. Bye bye. Bye bye. I love you. 
I'm proud of you, Mum and Dad. You're finally working together for the children. Nice. What a big step for you all. Cool music here, cool funky vibes. Okay, let's all take a look. Let's watch the smack to the face. Bam! Bam! I'm already pleased you. Breathe, breathe, breathe. In, in. Do we hit people? No! Do we hit people? No! Oh, yeah, he hits people. We're not going to play this anymore today. We just saw this. Pacify, pacify at the end of the bed, trying to negotiate. Thinking that he's not going to love you because you decided to put your foot down and say, this is how it is. I wish Kobe would stop hitting my mom and me. I'm proud of my parents and working together and trying to control Kobe's anger. That's good. Imagine being the cameraman. Yes, yeah, tough for that one. That clip without feeling emotional. I know. To be honest with you, I had a hard time not. Hold on, we I'm got put one down. They are definitely no, real bananas. If y'all tell me those are fake bananas, um, I would be quite literally livid. There, I've never seen. There's no way those are fake bananas. So, why do they have fake fruit and real fruit? Also, he's got a really shiny head. That's awesome how shiny his head is. That sounds so weird, but you know, good for him. He's got he got fake fruit and a fake head. To be honest with you, I had a hard time not. Under the circumstances, he had to rub something on his head. To sit down with the pair of you and discuss what was on his mind and Seems in his really heart glossy. took an enormous amount of courage. I mean, how did you feel at that particular time? I felt proud, mm. extremely proud. I was very proud of him, and I didn't even realize that he'd been writing so much in it. But I think it's that's more than good I could him. probably write. Very much. Let's continue. You want me to make rice? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. His face. What did he see that made him smile? What made him laugh? Mom and dad interacting positively. When you create an environment that can just be pleasant on the basic level, it creates that face. We've watched this footage and clearly seen what does need Still to be addressed. Still scared of the dad, not come on. So lie. what I would like to know from the pair of you is whether there is a joint decision about where the pair of you want to take this situation. I can present myself with Aaron and Kobe, hopefully, in a much more positive vein and go forward. While it's been very much Sorry, thank you for the raid. Us, I think that um, what Joe's been able you to do is bring a lot strength. of things to light that needed to be. It did fun you do have stuff. to be able to communicate on a positive on basis when it comes to kids. Good. Then let's get started. When Aaron and Kobe play together, they normally end up in a fight. But I've got a little game for them, so I'm hoping this will change things. This is how the game is going to work, right? There's a series of tasks for them. The game is hide and seek. Kobe, you hide. And we'll seek you in a couple hours. To achieve, so they can give each other encouragement, work together, and have some fun. Once they complete a task, they get a piece to a puzzle. So clever, man. Look how clever. She's always so clever. I don't know how she does it. What's up, Mariana? How does she do it? Starting from now. All right, Kobe, now go forward. No, to the left, to the left. Up, up, right there, right there, right there. Good boy. You've just got yourself an envelope. They were excited to be working as a team, and they were very curious to see what the puzzle would turn out to be. Come on, next one. Oh, oh. Aaron's got to find these words. This is like Reality House. This is pretty much what we did on Reality House. You have two minutes. Go. Come on, in. Come on, here's Mike. 40 seconds. This is like Christian Root and Kane on. 20, 19. Well done. Cool. Oh, it was a blast. What's up, Tori? How you doing? It was so fun. Mine is here. The way that she put it together to make them have to is do that a puzzle of themselves? And have to cheer each other on was so much fun. And, you know, they did such a great job. Damn, Joe, I want to pl play this. Forget the kids, Joe. This is just cool. I would want to play this. This looks fun. You have to dig into that box and do what you can to find that key. All right, you do what you gotta do. Starting from. Yeah, where's the KJ twist? I know I'm ready for them to come out. No, Cody, just go, go. Look, look through it. Look through it. That's a lot of cleanup, though. I will say. I will say. Why is the wind doing that? That's sound. That's a nightmare to clean up.
Okay, I love the shot, but my goodness. That's really fun. I dumped it out. I feel bad for the PA team. Then I found the key. I got the keys, keys, keys. It was something new for the boys to work together and cheer each other on. Oh my god, they they're going to be everywhere. Like fun together instead of fighting and beating up on each other all the time. Sub case idea. That was fun. That was the most fun I've had with my little brother, I think, ever. <laughs> he said, ever. Later on, I wanted the boys to have some quality time with mum. So mum got out some ink pads for them to do an art project together. But before they could even get started, oh you don't do the ink on the table. Kobe, look at me. Kobe uh -oh. wanted to do things his way. Here he goes. Oh, damn. Look at this. You know, this was direct face contact. Hold on for the lurkers out there. Just take a look. Kobe wanted to do things. Take a look at this smack here. His way. Him from the bam end. dude you know that's hitting direct face dude god damn he's got reach on him he could fight jake paul <laughs> damn he smacked her good Remove you can him. see look it Remove him from the area. look at her touch her face <sighs> that shit got her right in the eye dude god damn Remove him. but kobe's behavior got worse and it erupted oh no into a huge tangent. no not the game board damn <laughs> Trying to call Kobe down was going to take some strenuous it I broke another one. So it was important that Vicky remain calm. Yeah. This is every day. It's every day this is happening. It is not acceptable for you to be throwing things. Destruction. I will not go back to letting him have his own way. Oh. Because I see what it's caused. And I see that I let it get to the level that it did. How hard it is to go this back. This is an everyday and thing. Control of it. I thought they were kind of chilling, but man, I'm telling you, even the couch is very 90s. Everything is very 90s. Vicky's realizing that if she can just get Kobe to slow down and breathe, he'll calm down. And through your nose, out through your mouth. Come on, show mommy. Show me you can. We do it. know you, you can go. do it when you get angry. You show mommy. Breathing through my nose and not my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that the producers made him do that, they're like, can you go ahead and can you demonstrate the breathing for us? And calm. Then the I music has down. changed. Chat, we're back. I love how they change every time from like psycho and uh, he's a killer and, uh, to like roses and horses. With Kobe, that happens. It's about breaking that cycle. This was a huge victory for mum. She remained calm. She took control she of the situation. She took a smack to the head is what Kobe she took. Calm down. He needs to apologize for hitting you, pick up his mess, and then he had quite a job to do, cleaning up the mess. Good, make him clean it up. Firm voice. Good. Okay. Kobe, pick those up. Damn, what was he breaking? I see glass everywhere. Normally, I would have cleaned everything up. Oh, they're marbles, okay. Just said, no, don't do that. You She's got... been cleaning up every mess he's made? Oh, that's that's parenting 101. You make a mess, you got to clean it up, dude. No I way. I understand. He makes a mess, he's going to pick it up. Yeah, here we go. Later that evening, Aaron stopped by to discuss Kobe's behavior. This is what needs to happen. Kobe needs to recognize is your support with Vicky. Mm -hmm. Aaron was prepared to support Vicky with discipline. So now it was time to address Kobe together. We had a very rough day because Kobe made very bad decisions. And he chose to get angry and break things. He, I um, see it. He said, let's see it. <laughs> it is a legit mentis, dude. He is a menace to society. Catherine, thank you for gifting Angel a sub. He said, show me the damn receipts. Appreciate all the love today as we are at almost 1,040 subs. We're up again. Kobe, do you That's think this you is guys, funny? So thank you. Uh-oh. I'm not going to allow you to continue to be destructive. If it continues to happen, you continue to lose privileges and you lose privileges at my house tomorrow. I think with Kobe seeing Vicky and myself, it showed a unity that what we were trying to convey to him was that- That's, That farts for Aaron being stinky, that's not me. We're working together. I will not tolerate you not doing what you're told. Do you understand that? Because there will be consequences. I felt really good. Because I felt like he's understanding that, well, hey, thank you for the bits. mom and dad are both sitting here telling Appreciate me that you. they're not going to tolerate this. You know, maybe I better listen. Thank you. Let's thank go you. upstairs and get our pajamas on and get ready for bed. 
She just said pajamas. I know I didn't hear that wrong. What the hell is pajamas? I know it's pajamas, damn it. Yeah, maybe I better listen. Now let's go upstairs and get our pajamas on. Let's go upstairs and get our damn pajamas on, okay? All right, this. You know, maybe I better listen. Now let's go upstairs and get our pajamas on and get ready for bed. Get our damn pajamas on, our damn bad banana jamma pajamas. Mum and Dad are finally working together, which is amazing, because it's going to take the pair of them to keep Cody's behavior under control. God, what's up, Michael? Damn. You stub your toe or something? Kobe, I'm going now. Can we give Jojo a hug and a kiss? Kobe's going to smack Ooh. her in the head. Okay. What Kobe do we like? Kobe Bryant. What Kobe do we like when he's behaving like what? Oh. Good. Yes. <laughs> Good. Aaron. Give me a hug, darling. Take care. I am very proud of Aaron, you. Aaron, I am Aaron, sorry for what the bullshit <laughs> you have to do. My plan ultimately is, is to continue to, to blame work with Vicky. Vicky. Oh, sorry. And the, and the children. Shocker. You just can't stop with Joel leaving. Keep working on yourself, yeah? Yes, and your family. Bye, Vicky. Joe's had a tremendous impact on us. The things that she made us deal with and face. I'm scared for this family. I don't know. I don't I know, feel chat. Like I yeah, they're both named Aaron. Gained a sister. Bye bye. Throughout this experience, Vicky and Aaron have mutually agreed to keep their personal differences aside. And even though they're living apart, they're taking responsibility together in raising their children, which is going to make them as a family a lot happier. Okay. A rough. Any update here? What's going on? <laughs> Aaron okay. is smiling. Okay, more. good good music He's here. Opening up more. He's more upbeat. I am proud of Aaron for the progress he's made in such a short period of time. Yeah, the house is cozy. Feel that there's a lot of work that needs to be done with Kobe. He's older and vibes. it's going to be something that, that Vicky and I have to work together yeah, with. Little things are going to add. You know, man, what, what kind of soda do you think that, that, that is? And I have to work together if we had to just guess, <laughs> it's like, wow, the, thank God they blurred that, that bright red can. I'm glad they blurred that can of soda that I couldn't have a single guess of. One of two brands it is. Things are going to add up, and I think we're going to see it's a big bright. overall change in Kobe. The boys and I will have more quality time together. We'll do more fun things. That's a Coke can, if I've ever seen one. Things together. Past is past. Vicky and I can work toward a common goal. It's beneficial for both of us. I would say to any divorced couple, take a look at the relationship take that you have with my your girlfriend. ex. And really evaluate how that could be affecting your children because it's a lot more powerful than you can ever imagine. Joe taught me that. I think I do. Look, have now they're getting lemons for each other. Look what Joe's now. done. I'm very proud of my mom. Kobe, are you getting some? Just hopefully things will get um, keep just getting better and better. Thank you for helping my mom, helping my dad. Look at what Joe Frost can do to a family brother, chat. Look what she can do I here. Can't thank her enough Look at what she, she's making us see she's what like a, see a therapist make an impact and make it better thank you Jojo thank you Jojo very nice okay alright there you go that, that gave me some uh, some positive vibes at the end there really good work by Joe this episode she really had to step up because I'll tell you what Kobe's got some distance man he's got some range 